I am back at the Geek Art Show. We are getting ready for my uh, next set, which I'm going to do some duets with Tom Nagy, who's a brilliant jazz pianist. Uh, I worked with him a couple years ago. But first, I'm here with Rob Stea, who is amazing. You may know Rob from the as the writer of some of these songs on uh, Wutsu Riot, including the ballad that went up a couple days ago. Uh, he plays in my D&D game, and he's the graphic sponsor for Headshots from the Heart, which I will talk about at length later, I'm sure. But Rob, you're here with a whole bunch of work. Yes. So what do you do? Uh, well, uh, as the graphic design sponsor of Headshots from the Heart, um, obviously I'm a graphic designer. So part of what I like to do is uh, paper crafts and things that are kind of a very geeky, unique kind of cultural, pop culture kind of thing. So if we could pan down onto the table. Excellent. Uh, you'll see there's, there's things kicking around like uh, a Zelda activity book. Uh, comes with crayons. Uh, a TARDIS card for Doctor Who fans out there. Um, special boxes, you know, for kids' parties. You can kind of put whatever you want in there. It doesn't necessarily need to be for kids, but it's the most obvious choice for it. Uh, portal Yeah, cards. digging the Portal Valentine's card. Yeah, Portal Valentine's cards. Um, nice sentimental cards that once you open them up, reveal characters from the Muppets. Uh, you know, just kind of a, a little bit of weird things like that. Yeah. So if I want to find more of your stuff, where can I do that? Well, uh, there's a couple of places you can look. Uh, one is my website, which is intelligent-designs.ca. Uh, from from there, you can link over to my Facebook page, uh, which is Facebook forward slash intelligencedesigns.ca, without the dash. Um, and it also brings you over to my blog, which is uh, robertstea.blogspot.ca. Awesome. What's your favorite part of my Dungeons & Dragons game? Right Look, now, if you're going to plug yourself, you're going to plug my D&D game. The favorite part? Uh, let's see. When I get a Benny. That's, that's probably... Great. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, thanks. You're very welcome. Thanks for that. All right. You're welcome. I am here with Ryan, who is a Headshots from the Heart sponsor, and also uh, whose work you may recognize from the Night Shift video, which I will, of course, link in the show notes. Um, Ryan is one of the members of Dragonsmith Armory, and he is super cool. Thank you. It's a lovely introduction. <laughs> Can you tell me a little bit about your work? And uh, you absolutely. I am a fantasy enthusiast, so I like to make things that bring the fantasy world into the real world. and. In that vein, I create models and fossils of dragons so that I can pretend they exist. I love and the I love the dragon skeleton. I gotta admit. Thank you. I'm very proud of them. I've sold I, I sold a couple of them, and it's hard to say goodbye to art that you've made, put effort into, and kind of fallen in love. I'm proud of it. Now I have to give it Um And also, I do metal work and make beautiful boots and armor, and I'm trying to bring armor back into fashion so that you can just wear it to parties and business meetings <laughs> in case of ninja or zombie. Fair enough. And if I want to find out more about your work, where can I go? Uh, you can go to dragonsmitharmory.com uh, for my portfolio. Armory with a U, because it's Canada. Armory, yes. Yeah, there's, well, there's a nice big sign up there. Oh, we'll, get the, we'll get the big sign. There All we right. go. I also have, you can also follow us on Facebook. Dragonsmith Armory, and on Etsy if you want to buy things. Ooh, all right, that'll all go in the show notes too. Thank you so much, Ryan. Thank you, Jim. <laughs> this is Jocelyn who sold me one of these awesome plushies <laughs> yesterday because <laughs> it's day two of, of Geek Art Show. Jocelyn, can you tell me about some of your work? Oh my. You've got all, it's like fascinators and plushies and yeah, photography. Yeah, lots of different things. I, um... Mohawk hat? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I just make stuff that I really like and really enjoy, and I'm always trying to um, kind of expand my horizons on different creations that I can make. So, yeah, I like I like brightening people's days by making monsters. And what's your What's your favorite piece here? Oh, oh I know it's hard. <laughs> What's your favorite piece among the the, the the flowers? The flowers. I like a lot of my steampunk stuff. Ooh. So I'd say more of these ones. Oh no. That is really cool. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And because I because I'm a, a dancer performer for alternative belly dancing, right? I, I like to um, I make stuff that I would use and enjoy, and then I sell it to other people too. Thank you so much. Your plushie is going to cuddle with my Cthulhu on my studio. <laughs> nice, nice. Yeah, well, that's what they're for, right? To bring people happy moments. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>